When I say bananas, you'll say peppers. And today, you guys, I feel so blessed and so fortunate to even be able to sit down here with you guys and hang out with y'all. I hope I'm gonna be able to upload this video. I hope the internet is gonna allow me to upload this video at this point, you guys. But you know what, sippy sippy, before we get started, I'm gonna try and make this intro very brief, but in case you don't know, I live in Texas. And in case you don't know, we've been dealing with unimaginably cold weather. I think somebody told me that it's the coldest that it's been in Texas in like 122 years. So winter weather that I'm sure is like just absolutely normal for lots of places in the world and in the country, but Texas and particularly the area that I live in, which is like very close to Galveston, we never ever, ne like I said, in 120 years, we never get temperature that's like 10 degrees I think it was like 10 or 9 here when I whatever night it was like the coldest night I heard it was colder in Texas than it was in Anchorage Alaska so I just feel like extremely blessed and fortunate if you come out alive like that's really all that matters in these like horrible devastating natural disasters but I will say I'll be very grateful when we have like running sanitary water again out of the tap that we can like just brush our teeth with and take a shower with and it's just it's just clean it's just been it's been very scary but i just wanted to say thank you to anybody who's like checked on us to make sure dog man and i are okay and i will never be able to say thank you enough just like how much it means to me that you guys would even take a minute out of your day to like think about us and think like oh she lives in texas i hope she's okay like just thank you guys so much for like being there and for caring. So I thought to kind of like take my mind off of everything and to just kind of like do something relaxing and fun. It's actually the next Sunday. This started last Sunday on Valentine's Day and it's the next Sunday at this point. Uh, so I definitely, I need something else to like focus my energy on that's just like positive. I'm very excited for this item and I think you guys will be excited for it as well. We have not done a mystery unboxing of these items items in a very long time but hopefully you guys will remember I think I used to open these when I would do like snack tasting videos basically they're called gash pond and they are these magical little capsules that come from Japan and they have all different things in them sometimes they're mystery keychains sometimes they are like action I can actually see through this one that it's gonna be something Sailor Moon. So sometimes they coordinate to like a particular like character. Sometimes they're just like little mini figurines. Sometimes they're even like slime and stuff. So there's all kinds of gash pond. And I even think in Japan, there's like a wider variety than I can even probably imagine. They are normally dispensed from a magical gash pond machine. This is actually from Bandai and I think that this is the company that makes a lot of the full-size gash pond machines and maybe I can find like a clip of some of them but I think there's actually like places in Japan you can go and it's like a full store just of these like I call them quarter machines but it's basically the equivalent of like an egg machine do you remember like that you would like I don't know put 50 cents in and you would get like a sticky hand or like a sticker or something that's basically what these are I actually ordered this from Amazon Japan my new favorite place to shop because they have so many amazing things you guys I hope I get to go to Japan one day. It is like just my dream. This is actually a smaller version of a full-size gash pond machine. I saw some people leaving reviews that they had like comic book stores or other things like that. And they actually used these at like conventions and stuff just for like an actual uh, business. So hopefully we'll be able to set it up and hopefully I'll be able to figure it out because I bet all the instructions are going to be in Japanese. So here are the instructions. I did read somewhere online. I bought this several weeks ago, but I think that somebody said you can use American nickels in this machine. And there used to be this amazing stationery store 
well, they sold a lot of stuff. They sold like stationery, Sanrio stuff, squishies, like rare plushies, all kinds of stuff. And they were called Little Surprises and they were in San Antonio and they were amazing, so much fun. And they had one of these machines. So you would like pay, you would give them like a dollar and then they would give you like a nickel and you could like get something out of the machine. So I'm hoping that some of my gash pond that I have not opened, it comes with six empty gash pond eggs. I don't know what that means then that I cannot use this machine to the full potential of which I had intended, which was to just be able to fill it with all of my gash pond. So I have some eggs that are this size, but I'm sure you guys can tell these are much bigger. So those probably definitely are in a different machine or full size machine. No, they are empty. I don't know, it felt weird. It felt like there was something in there. So I'm like, I'm shocked that there's not something in there. I think the rest of everything in here. Oh, okay, it looks like the machine comes in two parts. So this is the big part. And then this I think is just the lid. Probably very simple construction. You know what? I feel like we need a different camera angle at this point so you guys can see. Oh, this is so cool. So this is the lid. Ooh, this is the machine. So I don't know why I thought it would like potentially take batteries or something. This is what the machine looks like. It's just this nice clear, that looks like a big space. That looks like that could hold so much more than six eggs. I guess this is like a key. I don't think it came with a key though. And then you could, oh, that does not sound good. Right? That doesn't sound normal. And I don't see anything opening up in there. I thought I would see it like turning to potentially dispense an egg. Oh, okay, so that's where the money would go. And this honestly just looks like fake plastic screws. So it almost doesn't look like it's legitimately motorized in any way. Hopefully mine is okay. Cause that was like a bizarre noise, right? So let's see here if I can get some instruction. Yeah, honestly, this looks like kind of important in some way, but I don't know how. See, this says 100. You can replace it to say one, five, ah, my fingers, five or 50 or 10. This they showed in the front. So ideally I wanted to get um, like a decal, like a vinyl sticker to put on the front of this, but you can also use this little insert that it came with, or I'm assuming just like cut out a piece of paper <laughs> of your own design. And I think sometimes if you get like an entire like retail set of gash pond, cause there's certain things, like I'll show you guys this one cause these are ones I collect all the time. Some people go ahead and like buy an entire set of a certain series of gash pond. I love these. They are um, lizards and frogs and they're these little like keychains slash like cell phone strap things. So I think you can buy like a whole set of them. And then if you buy the whole set, it comes like in a box like this. And I think a certain portion of the box would be like this perforated thing in case you were like a store and you were gonna like sell them and dispense them. Maybe that's a little boring tidbit of information. So on to uh, the instructions. I think the first thing we're meant to do is load the balls in here and I'm just gonna pick random ones. Oh, I hope that that's like similar enough size. Kind of looks the same, I don't know. Oh, it looks like it'll maybe just fit through the hole. And I think that that's all that matters. Is this the same size? Oh, that's exactly the same. Maybe I should just be very cautious and just try and find ones that are exactly the same. Is it? Oh, nope, slightly bigger. I don't know, I'm gonna I'm gonna get risky with it. I can just dump them out. These are all like relatively the same size, but they're all just like slightly different. I'm gonna go with it. And if it was a mistake, then um, we'll just have to dump them all out and start over again. I have no idea what's in these because I've honestly had these forever. I have many more than six eggs in there, which I think that they just give you six but obviously I don't see why you couldn't just like fill up the machine. That looks pretty 
nice and full. Ooh, see, I think it looks like more fun to have all different colors than just like just red. That is the machine all assembled. If you have two machines, if you are trying to do this for a business, I don't know why I'm still clutching the machine to my bosom. What this will allow you to do is like join two machines together to like stabilize them because you can like stack them. All right, you guys, hopefully now we're gonna be cook in. Hopefully we can get these things to dispense. I was able to raid my grandpa's old change jar and I found five nickels. Hopefully I will put nickels in the machine and then it will not make a malfunctioning sort of clicking sound. So let's put a nickel in. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Maybe a nickel no. Oh, no. Oh? Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe it works just like slightly different than egg machines that I'm used to because it just like went in and then it felt like it got stuck. But then even though it was like kind of just in the slot there, I was able to like Okay, it's, oh, see, but it stops. See, it's kind of like locked now. Yeah, like I could force it, but then I would probably break it if I kept twisting it. So yeah, let's just go ahead and open the gash pond and find out what's inside. So it is a yellow one here and it's completely not see-through. I'm trying to, I never know in all my years of life, what is the difference between opaque and translucent and transparent, I don't know. Oh my gosh. I feel like some things my brain just refuses to learn. Anybody else feel that way? So let's see what is in. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, <gasps> wait, oh, I thought that this was a good Atama at first, but I'm just gonna show you guys up here. This camera focuses better. Su Sumiko Garashi, I think is the characters. That one looks a lot like good Atama, but, um, or which one look, I don't know. One of them kind of looks like Gudetama to me, uh, but it's not. Let's go ahead and open this. It looks like it's gonna be a flashlight, but honestly, some of these, you guys, I have had for years. So we'll see if the flashlight still works. So if you know the name of this character, let me know. It's so cute though. It's in like a little like dinosaur Loch Ness monster costume. It looks like a cat. And let's see if I push, no, if I push the head, I don't know. Is it trying to shine something? It almost looks like there's a faint. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't know. Like the head is kind of allowing me to push it in, but nothing is happening when I do. But it's still, I don't know. It's still a really cute keychain. Like I actually remember several years ago at Walmart now, I myself was once again, sinking money into a quarter machine like I hadn't done in a million years. Uh, but Walmart for a while had these really cool like UFO and alien like light up keychain things. And sometimes I would get the keychain and it would light up and sometimes it wouldn't, but it was still just an experience. So let me zoom you guys in real quick so I can try and show you guys the nickel action. So. So I put it in and then I start to get real nervous because it doesn't feel like I can, like I thought that this was like a coin return button, but I'm pushing this button and it's not doing anything either. So it looks like the coin is stuck in there. Hopefully you guys can see. Uh, but then I start to turn it and it's, I think it's almost like sucking the nickel in. Cause see, I can freely turn it now. Let me see if I can back you guys out. So you can see the egg drop. Oh no! Is it not gonna, maybe I put, maybe this is when I find out I put too large of an egg in there or I spoke too soon. Maybe I can shake it around or something. Come on. Okay, see before I kind of tipped it, my nickel is gone and I don't have an egg. I'm not, I'm not liking that. Okay, I stuck one in, that's too big. So clearly, 
we just found that out real quick. So yeah, I think it's this purple one. Let me see if I can move another one down there. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now I can just know for measure that anything that's this big, I don't think is gonna successfully work in the machine, which that does not look that much, I don't know. When I dropped that one down there, it looked like it would, please, open sesame. All right, nothing, still nothing is happening. <laughs> but it's still letting me turn it, it's so weird. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, the one that I'm feeling that should be in there now, like definitely has clearance. So I don't know. Let me see if I can just sink more money in there. Oh, come on. Maybe. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I think it had just like thought it dispensed one. Although it didn't like force me to stop turning it, which I was like just trying to describe to you guys that like when there's no money in there, it feels like I would have to like force it. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Let's open up another egg. And this is what it looks like. Another yellow one. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's a Pikachu here. I feel like I should have Dogman take the items out of the other gash pond and just load them into these smaller gash pond so that it would still be a mystery to me, but just take them out of the larger eggs. Do you know what I mean? Uh, let's go ahead and open it up. That is definitely a Pikachu ear of some sort. So let's see what this could be. Oh, he's so cute. See, this is the kind of stuff that just like makes me wish that I like really was part of the whole Pokemon universe. They are sleepy Pokemons. And I'm sure I've said this in some video before, but I've never, I have never played Pokemon in my life. No Pokemon, not even Pokemon Go. And I really feel like I'm honestly missing out on something. I really do wish that I had done Pokemon Go, but look at this. It's a little figure of a very sleepy Pikachu. He's so adorable. He's so sleepy. Oh my god. Okay, let's do one more and then um, I feel like I will save the rest for an entirely other video. I feel like this video has been like all about just trying to get the machine set up and trying to get it to work and eggs just keep rolling in front of me. Okay, place your bets now you guys. Like am I actually gonna be able to dispense one? All right, nickel is in. And oh, there we go. Oh, yay. Just just the appropriate size, quite apparently. So this time we got a milky egg. It reminds me of literal milk. For for well, I feel like for it looks it looks like milk. It's like the top is clear, the bottom is milk. The top is clear, the bottom is milk. Okay, um ooh! I feel like I'm gonna be so excited. Okay, I'm too excited about this. It looks like it's gonna be a beverage keychain of some sort. So let's bring on that beverage. I'm just so excited about drinks. Okay, this also looks like it's a, a twist apart egg. Oh, it was still like considerably taped shut. I just ripped it apart. Um, okay, let's see. No, okay, twist apart, no. Okay, it has to be twist apart. I feel like these are like twist apart, the ones that it came with, okay. Ah! <gasps> Ooh! Okay, so this is the little like collector's paper. And it looks like these are all beers, <laughs> like little beverages, little cups. Oh, I guess these could be like sodas on the end. I don't know, I kind of can't tell. It says King. I don't know if these are like real beer brands. I don't know. Um, so this is the keychain. And oh my gosh, it just looks like a frosty pitcher. I'm gonna say of lemonade. Premium quality. I'm trying to read the little writing on the mug. Oh my god, it's like flocked. It's fuzzy. Premium quality, original something taste. But that is so amazing. I thought it was literally just a little bit of frosted plastic. But no, no, no. It gets this frosty look to it because it's actually fuzzy. Oh my god. So it's a little keychain. And there's actually liquid 
and like little, I think that that's meant to like mimic foam. And you can obviously see it a lot better if it's like in front of your own <laughs> eyeballs. I'm trying to capture it real quick on camera, but it's like if you have it sitting upright, the whole top looks like it's covered with foam. But then if you like move it over to like take a sip, um, it becomes like beer. That's so cute. So yeah, overall, I feel like there is a little bit of learning curve with this. I'm so glad that whoever left the comment about nickels somewhere on Amazon was right because it totally does. Obviously take nickels. There's my four nickels. And so yeah, then you could just like collect all the money. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. You guys, my brain. Overall, I love this thing. I think it's gonna be so much fun for videos and stuff. So you guys, have to let me know do you think like six is enough for like an unboxing like a gash pond unboxing or do you think we should do more per episode i have a ton of actual items here as i'm sure you guys could see so we could do a couple episodes like that but then hopefully i will be able to replenish them from somewhere i'm trying to remember it was like called japan snack crates or something i feel like i'm confusing that with something else but anyway, uh, yeah, this thing is a lot of fun. A lot of fun. And I think, I think it was like $68, but once again, there was like some, you know, like currency switch over there. So I suppose that can fluctuate. And also I could not remember what I paid for it either. It's a lot of fun. And especially if you are somebody like me and you just love like opening like mystery egg type things, I think that this would be a lot of fun. It's small enough and like that makes it like reasonable enough to like be inside of your house. But it also is good that it does collect actual money and you can use it for like businesses and cons as well. So it really does just kind of like fluctuate between just kind of like being like a fun thing versus something that can actually be like, you know, if you if you need like a business thing. Do you know what I'm saying? Now I'm rambling. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. And I hope to see you guys again very, very soon. I think I'm actually about to film another video for you guys just in case. I don't know. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to prepare now. I'm trying to be more of a prepared person. Uh, but we have power right now. We have electricity right now, so. I'm kind of in the mood to film. But anyway, uh, thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today and for watching. Thank you guys so much for caring and for just being there. Thank you for spending time, for hanging out with me. And until I see you guys again, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. And I will be back very, very soon. Bye.